hello and welcome to bio for you okay in this video we're going to discuss chapter 2 specifically chapter 2.1 and 2.2 okay let us enjoy this all together okay so what you're going to expect to learn from this 2.1 so we're going to define ecology define basic terminologies in the field of ecology with examples uh, habitat niche organism population community ecosystem biome and biosphere some of these terms are familiar to you guys but some of it are very rare or uh, very uncommon to your ears for example uh, this niche okay so what is meant by ecology? What is the definition of ecology? It is the study of how organisms interact with each other and their environment. So it is the interaction of the organism and their environment. Man dengan per organism tu dengan persekitaran dia. Bukan how organism itu sahaja. Okay, habitat. Macam semua orang tahu lah, habitat is their living. Okay, is their living space. Living pula. So by definition, the natural environment or place where an organism, population or species live. Um, uh, this live uh, they need to live here for shelter, food, reproduction, or growing their young. Itu uh, anak-anak orang. For example, forests, grass fields, ponds, rivers, and lakes. Niche. Okay, so this may be a very new term for some of you. So, what is the meaning of niche? It is the functional roles of an organisms play in its environment. Itu habitat dia. Maksud dia, apakah peranan satu organism itu di habitat dia? So, that is what it meant by niche. Okay, so example, uh, the feeding activities in its habitat. Okay, contohnya, caterpillar uh, and aphids live and eat on the same plant, but caterpillar uh, it leaves uh, and if it sucks uh, uh, suck plant uh, plant sap so um, caterpillar niche dia eating leaf if it uh, niche dia function dia adalah untuk uh, suckling the plant sap iaitu cecair dalam tumbuhan ya yeah, ni if it uh, okay so habitat versus niche niche is the role or spe uh, or role or species place in a community job dia orang peranan dia orang okay habitat is the tempat tinggal itself Okay, additional for niche is the totality of an organism adaptations, uh, its use of resources, and the lifestyle to which it is fitted in its community. Uh, so, itulah definition niche. <coughs> Yang itu peranan dia, macam ni dia uh, adapt dengan, uh, dengan persekitaran dia and lifestyle dia. Uh, contoh lifestyle dia, dia makan apa, uh, kan? Okay, so in this video, you can, uh, in this video, uh, in this diagram, you can see uh, this cape may warbler. They feed on the tips of branches. Mana makan niche dia makan benda kat bagian atas. Bay breasted uh, warbler. So feeds in the middle part of the tree. So there is its niche peranan dia. Yellow rumped warbler. They feeds in the lower part of the tree and at the basis of the middle uh, branches. So itu adalah niche bagi yellow rumped warbler. Okay, so these are another examples that you can see. Um, for example, beetles, bees, wasps was uh, was their niche on uh, to their environment. Okay, so now we're going to look at the levels of ecological ecological organization. Okay, ecology can be studied at a wide range of levels, from a large to small scale. These levels of ecological organization includes kita akan start daripada uh, organism yang paling basic and then uh, population community ecosystem biome and biosphere so i believe up until ecosystem you guys are common uh, because this are uh, co uh, this uh, term have been studied uh, uh, during your secondary school and biome and biosphere maybe is the ad uh, additional new uh, information for you guys so, okay, this diagram represents an individual, population, community, ecosystem, biome, and biosphere. Okay, so organism, what is an organism? Simple je lah, sesuatu organism itu, species dia sendiri. Any living organism, oh, sorry, any living system composed of one cell, i.e. the simple individuals for unicellular, ataupun more cell, bagi yang multicellular organism, for example, frog. Okay, so kalau yang uh, unicellular itu, for example, dia adalah bacteria. Population. What is population? It is a group of organisms, okay, of the same species, but must be must be same species that live in a particular uh, area at the same time. Uh, time is uh, pada masa sama, pada tempat yang sama. So, a population of frogs. Maknanya sekumpulan kata species yang sama tinggal di tempat yang sama, this part of the river, and at the same time. Maknanya pada ketika itu. Uh, ini a population of penguins, okay. 
community ha what is community community ni kita upgrade sikit lah so kalau tadi hanya uh, interaction between uh, sesama uh, apa ni sesama species uh, population tu lah sesama species dia sendiri kalau community ni a group of populations ada S eh mana ada banyak population of different species living together and interact with each in uh, which with each other in a def, uh, in a defined habitat tempat yang sama contohnya uh, population of frog dragonfly birds and plants dalam satu tempat yang sama uh, so maknanya dekat dalam community ni ada community frog uh, i mean ada community yang mengandungi frog dragonfly birds dan tumbuh-tumbuhan iaitu plants uh, okey macam grass okey Next ekosistem. Ha ni ekosistem dia upgrade sikit lah daripada uh, community uh, sorry daripada uh, community tu tadi. So it is the interaction system that encompasses a community and its non-living physical environment. Maknanya ada biotic and non-biotic. Kalau sebenarnya kita hanya bincangkan benda-benda hidup saja, now ekosistem kita masuk ke faktor benda bukan hidup. Apa faktor benda bukan hidup tu? Contohnya Um, weather, uh, rocks, water, um, wind, angin dan sebagainya okay, Kita tengok lagi So, example of biotic components I.e. plants, animals, microorganisms A biotic components Hydrosphere, water, atmosphere uh, apa ni, Udara, lithosphere the, the the land itself Okay, muka bumi uh, Interaction between both components uh, Example, plants obtain nutrient from uh, And water from soil Uh, and CO2 from atmosphere to synthesize food through photosynthesis so semua ni adalah ekosistem ok kalau saya pendekkan cerita ekosistem ni adalah um, interaction antara beberapa population beberapa kumpulan species dalam tempat yang sama dengan benda bukan hidup yang seperti air, udara dan tanah ok <coughs> so this is lake ecosystem we can see from this lake ecosystem we have plants we have truly we have a uh, living uh, we have animals inside here fish and everything uh, beetles and also and other so it also interacts with the water with the um, with the uh, air Uh, around it okay so this is marine ecosystem yeah interaction with the water of the sea water itself okay and etc biomes kita upgrade sikit satu okay any of other world's major ecosystem mana banyak-banyak ecosystem tu dia akan form a biomes tapi jangan risau kita akan tengok secara lagi detail apa dia often classified according to the predominant vegetation uh, maknanya uh, pertumbuhan yang ada kat situ for terrestrial biome and the physical environment for aquatic biome so maknanya kalau untuk uh, terrestrial biome ni uh, darat kita akan tengok dekat vegetation tumbuh-tumbuhan dia kalau physical uh, sorry kalau aquatic biome ni kita akan tengok dekat physical environment dia Okay, it is characterized by adaptations of organism to that particular environment. Okay, don't worry. Here, um, for aquatic biomes, alright. Uh, for example, marine, uh, marine. Uh, for example, oceans and fresh waters such as big lakes and rivers. Okay, so for terrestrial biomes, pula contohnya adalah uh, coniferous forests. Uh, Uh, through the, uh, deserts and temperate grasslands uh, Saya ingat tadi dia salah saja uh, Betul Okay So apa yang saya nak cakap dekat sini uh, Contohnya lah um, Kalau dekat dalam lakes ni Dia ada gabungan beberapa ekosistem uh, So it forms the biomes uh, Rivers ni pun ada beberapa ekosistem uh, So dia akan form the biome So for example uh, deserts the dominant vegetation dia adalah cactus animals dia adalah desert right and the climate uh, dia ada masukkan uh, faktor climate lagi rainfall distribution less than 30 cm per year for that area uh, so contohnya macam tu lah untuk desert Okay, so ni ada example biomes of the earth. Okay, so kita ada tropical rainforest here, designated in the green color over here. Okay, we are we in Malaysia we also uh, having this tropical uh, rainforest, and then savanna, uh, desert. Okay, these are the desert according to the color, polar and high mountain ice, which is this one, uh, chaparral uh, here. Okay, temperate grassland, and you can uh, study uh, tundra. Okay hujung ni coniferous forest this one light blue okay so uh, these are the examples of biomes of the earth 
Okay, so this is a very interesting pyramid for you to understand. For you to understand. Okay, so here we have the decrease uh, in terms of moisture from wet to dry. We also have the uh, uh, temperature from hot to cool. Okay, so if it is hot and it is wet, many uh, tak banyak tabur hujan. So you will have rainforest, like the tropical rainforest. So tropical rainforest. So, but if you have um. If the temperature is hot, but it is mildly uh, dry, dia tak keras sangat, tak basah sangat, so you will have the savanna, okay, so the tropical savanna, okay, and what you end up with, uh, if you're having a hot temperature, maknanya uh, suhu uh, kat situ panas, and it is very dry, you end up is having a desert, a tropical desert, okay, so um, if it is, uh, let's say, I go atas sekali lah, cold, if it is very cold, and it is of course lah no, not so dry not so uh, wet so you have the arctic uh, the arctic ni arctic tundra jenis-jenis uh, tundra okay so these are the uh, picture of this is the picture of coniferous rainforest uh, hutan hujan kon pokok kon okay so these are uh, deciduous rainforest and this is savanna how savanna looks like okay with all the safari animals okay and this is tundra okay tundra we know they live dekat uh, kawasan yang bukan live maknanya dia terdapat dekat kawasan yang agak sejuk okay and um the biosphere now kita move kepada term last kali tu biosphere okay the biosphere is the entire portion of earth mana seluruhan muka uh, seluruh bumi ni uh, inhabited by living organisms and the sum of all the planets ecosystem mana uh, keseluruhan ekosistem planet itu sekali termasuklah atmosphere dia macam mana hydrosphere dia macam mana, dan lithosphere dia macam mana. lithosphere berkaitan dengan daratan hydro air atmosphere uh, inilah um, udara Okay, now we're going to on to we're going on on to two point two the life hierarchical order. Okay, no worry, not as much as complicated for uh, that we've learned. You have learned in chapter one. Okay, so this is much simpler. So the objectives. So you need to be able to describe the relationship between the following components of life: antara organism, population, community, ecosystem, biome, and biosphere. Mana nak cakap lah? Mana yang paling ringkas? Ya, of course lah. Individual yang paling complicated adalah biosphere, the entire Earth itself. Okay, organism. You have the uh, the sole organism, sorang-sorang, skeletal organism tu sendiri. And then you have the population, which is uh, many organism of the same species. And <coughs> so ini adalah species, banyak-banyak species. And uh, for a community, okay, uh, ke bawah uh, community ni dia ada uh, interaction banyak-banyak uh, uh, species. Okay, uh, and then uh, ecosystem the interaction dengan non living organism dia okey uh, iaitu biotic dan abiotic last kali biosphere uh, okey ya uh, so kita ada biome saya tinggal biomes and then barulah biosphere uh, patut rasa macam sikit okey so individuals organisms make up a population maknanya dalam satu population tu ada banyak banyak individu organism okey population tu pula make up a species Alright, maknanya um, Dan banyak species tu membentuk satu population lah And multiple species And their interactions make up a community So dalam satu community Macam saya dah explain tadi ya pun okay. um, Community tu uh, Dia adalah interaction Dengan banyak-banyak species And multiple species And their interactions uh, Make up ecosystem When include the abiotic factors uh, So ecosystem ni Bila kita masukkan Faktor abiotic factor Macam udara, angin, air uh, Macam tu, tanah And this is the hierarchy of ecology <coughs> Okay What is the difference uh, Between communities And ecosystem Okay, pendek ceritanya You guys can read all of this um, sentence in detail But pendek ceritanya Community adalah interaction beberapa um, uh, Species, beberapa population Sorry uh, Tapi tidak mengambil kira uh, faktor Bukan uh, abiotic factors ya, Which are examples The water, how is the temperature Wind, etc The the amount of sunlight received uh, So, itu tak ambil kira But ecosystem, it includes the 
uh, abiotic factors uh, contohnya if saya kata ecosystem tasik so saya akan cakap tasik tu uh, okey air dia macam mana suhu air dia macam mana adakah tasik dekat kawasan sejuk atau tasik tasik kat kawasan panas dan sebagainya okey campur lagi interaction beberapa species kat situ uh, species pokok-pokok haiwan-haiwan yang berbeza-beza uh, so itu adalah ecosystem ya yeah, ecosystem ada faktor bukan hidup benda bukan uh, benda bukan hidup kalau communities hanyalah benda yang hidup sahaja <coughs> ok so yep this is biosphere the entire earth itself uh, dengan dia punya hydrosphere atmosphere dan lithosphere biome uh, tundra savanna um uh, apa lagi uh, of course lah kita uh, tropical rainforest alright and then we have the ecosystem kita kecilkan lagi sikit and then we have community yang tak ada kaitan dengan yang tidak mengambil kira abiotic factors population many species yang sama and the individual itself okay and so this is the second last slide alright so sebenarnya sama je we have organism population community and ecosystem encompasses this and biome okay so Uh, please like this video, share and subscribe. Okay, but until now, that's for now for Bayu for you. See you guys in next video. Bye bye.